Good afternoon, I'm certified meteorologist Brandon Orr. It is another hot day today, forecasting a high temperature of 91 degrees. That it would be the hottest temperature so far this year, but we've hit it seven times so far, twice in March, once in April, and four times so far this month. It seems like we just can't get past 91 degrees. We'll see how hot it gets. It all depends on the thunderstorms that develop later on this afternoon, and we should get some going even as early as about 2 o'clock. You can see those developing inland, pushing towards the coastline at about 3 or 4. This is when we have the potential to see maybe one or two stronger thunderstorms with strong gusty winds and small hail possible, especially right around three or four, right as the storms get going. By this point at six, we used up a lot of the energy with the storms from three, four o'clock. So by six, I think we're starting to look a little bit better, but we'll have some lingering showers, maybe a brief thunderstorm through about sunset, and then we should quiet things down for the rest of the night. Where's the cold air? It's been so hot recently. It's all up here in the northeast. They had temperatures into the 20s up in the New England area. That's where some of the trees up there, like these apple trees, the farmers are having to protect their crops. They're using huge fans to blow on these to prevent the frost from developing. Otherwise, they're going to lose a whole lot. So kind of a May chill in the northeast. It's all north of this storm system. So anywhere south of here in the Carolinas, all the way down through Florida, it's staying on the hot side. And on the stormy side, too, we'll keep the storms going tomorrow into Saturday. High temperatures right around 90, trying to plan your weekend. Best time for any Thing will be in the morning in the afternoon. Watch out for those pop up showers and thunderstorms. Front gets closer to us, but it's starting to slow down in the panhandle. But we're out ahead of it with all the moisture, so we'll keep that chance of showers and thunderstorms going straight into next week. You can tell it's the rainy season, a stormy forecast all the way through the middle of next week and keeping high temperatures well above average, pretty close to 90 degrees all the way through at least Monday. Find updates on the forecast. You may need to use radar either on our Weather Authority app or on local10.com. We got you covered there.